the dauntless. There is a lot of groaning and annoyance when communicators start going off in the middle of the night. Admiral Cistern is the first up and grabs the devices before passing them around. Admiral Cistern here. Sir, there's been an attack on the main council building. Rings out and both Nicty and Jacqueline wake up a little more as they receive the same information. Casualties? He asks. Light injuries on some of our soldiers. Our men were fairly far away from the blast and had a few moments to shield themselves with Axiom. If they didn't have the ability, we would be speaking about casualties, however. The concussive and thermal force of the blast was considerable and most of the building's infrastructure has been compromised. It has been deemed unsafe to enter. I see, is there anything I can do in the here and now to contain the situation or assist in the recovery? No, sir. However, protocol dictates that you be made aware of a situation like this as soon as reasonably possible. Very good. Keep your eyes and ears open about what's going on. I'm going back to sleep so I can deal with this when rested, and when I've had some time to process the situation a little more. He answers. Rest well, sir. Thank you, soldier, he says, before hanging up and setting his communicator aside before addressing Nicti and Jacqueline. Any casualties? The building was nearly empty due to it being at night. We have lost some cleaning and maintenance staff, but that's about it. Why would the building be bombed? Jacqueline asks in a confused and worried tone. All my girls were home for the night, so I can breathe easy. My office was even far from the blast, so little issue for me, Nikti says before tossing her communicator away and flopping back. Some witch wants to stall things out, though, or wants something disrupted or put in or something. You suspect other intentions beyond destruction? If it was all just about blowing things up, we'd know who it was already because they'd be outside the building and laughing that we don't immediately know who says a lot. It means it was planned, it means it has a purpose, and it's going to happen again if we don't figure those things out. Nick T explains before stretching a little. Do you have experience in these things? Brule gobes almost always go through a phase we, we build things like mad. It's shortly after the climb, the stars just opened wide. You don't have to hunt or forage for food, no wars to worry about. You need something to do and technology is neat so you start to play with it. A lot of girls get their first healing coma after blowing themselves up and being scrapped off the pavement. I'm no exception, Nikti says. So it's experience talking. An accident would have someone trying to fix it, wouldn't it? Jacqueline asks and Nikti gives her a thumbs up and a mad bomber would be laughing. So this was deliberate and calculated. Presuming the bomber didn't die, Jacqueline says, and Admiral Cistern gently holds her and guides her back down to the pillows. Calm down. We can't do anything now and need clear and well-rested minds to deal with this, so let's get them, he says, and as he speaks, some of the tension leaves her. We could have been in there. The explosion was in the main council chamber. We weren't there, and while there has been some death, it's minimal. Rest so we can better hunt and punish the one responsible, he insists. How can you be so calm? I spent some times as a frontline soldier and saw a few skirmishes before my talents were recognized. A skill any deployed soldier that wants to live develops is to sleep anywhere, anytime, and in any circumstance short of active combat. But. I know I'm safe and I know I need sleep. Do you trust me? He asks, and she lets out a huff even as she cuddles up to him. I'm trusting you to wake up if something needs doing, she says, and he chuckles. Of course, don't you worry, he says as he's cuddled into from both sides. We'll figure things out soon enough. Gentlemen, you've had four and a half hours to figure things out. I want names, times, and motivations. Admiral Cistern says, walking into the intelligence division. Pointedly, he has both Lady Tikanped and Ambassador Tal with him. Sir Philip's eyebrow quirks upwards ever so, and Madame Stepanova's eyes narrow slightly. A great deal of younger humans here, Lady Tikanped notes. 
older than they look. We've been using restorative comas to help us, bring some people back to a more easily trained state, Sir Philip says genially as he holds out a data pad. Now, as to your request for names, times, and motivations, as you can see there, we have found that the woman that brought the bomb is a lopen by the name of Jezebella Secura, a native to the Meccan Reach, in particular the city station of Yintok. What do they have to do with anything? The Meccan Reach hasn't got anything on the docket, Lady Tacanped asks curiously. If I may, Sir Philip asks. At Lady Tacanped's nod, he straightens up a little. Thank you. Now... As to Miss Securi, she is a known courier, not a terrorist, not an insurgent, and not an idiot in spite of her more foolish business decisions. She has a reputation of getting packages exactly where you want them, regardless of locked doors, legal permissions, and other such things. Apparently, her business has long boomed due to people wishing to send private and personal notes and affairs to each other. But who else needs a service like... Oh, right. Ambassador Tal begins before remembering where she is. Oh, right is right. The countless secret societies thinking they're being clever. This is Centris. The line of people who are suspects in this case is as long as the census, if not longer. Madame Stepanova offers with a scowl. Anyways, the idiot girl doesn't check her packages and delivers them anywhere at any time. It was only a matter of time until someone tried this with her. Lucky for her, the big dog was very early and was well away by the time the bomb went off. It was probably meant to kill her, too. Unfortunately, the girl has gone into hiding in response. A not unreasonable response when she realized just how many people would be upset with her. Since we're only one of many organizations looking for her, our main focus is to keep an eye on the other searchers. Have them do the job for us, Sir Philip finishes. But what are you planning on doing? She's the delivery girl, a rube that was intended to die in the attack. Since our enemy wants her dead, we'll be keeping her alive instead. We don't know their plan or intention, so the best we can do is match their moves one after another destroying what they would protect and protecting what they would destroy. Of course, seeing what they would destroy or protect will tell us more about them and let us better understand how to oppose and defeat them, Admiral Cistern says as he considers. Not to mention Miss Secure is our only real lead. Computer files can be hacked, scrubbed, modified, and any number of things. But if we can get her talking, then we can get a lot more done, Admiral. Madame Stepanova states rather than asks. Pointedly, many of the younger's officers clear a wide path between her and him as if getting out of the line of fire. While it's a good thing that you've gotten humanity some allies, why are they here? Because I trust my intelligence officers to at least not be a living contradiction and know what to and what not to say and show. Call it the optimism of the brass if you like. Admiral Cistern returns with a narrowing of his own eyes at the old woman. Madame Stepanova holds the look for a time before slowly cracking a slight smile. Fine, I'll accept it. It doesn't matter if you accept it or not, so long as you follow orders. Admiral Cistern's voice has a dangerous tone that has both Lady Tai Canped and Ambassador Tao leaning back a bit. Sir. Yes, sir, she says before turning away to hound some unfortunate officers into helping her with her latest bit of work. Sir Philip offers a salute before also turning to his work and Admiral Sister nods. That appears to be all we can have at the moment. We have the person, and according to this, it took place at 2.14 a.m. this morning. At least, that's when the bomb went off. Miss Securi delivered her package at precisely 2 a.m., and from information we have about the order she was told to get it there at 2.15 on the dot. So the main chamber wasn't the target, but another part of the building. Lady Tycan Ped notes as her mind whirls. If it had gone off in another area, the casualties would have been much higher. What's the route she took to get in? 
Admiral Cistern simply hands her the device before crouching down to help Ambassador Tal climb onto his back, and they both watch over Lady Tykanped's shoulder to see her go through and narrow down the route. That goes by the Hall of Records, several staff rooms and numerous offices, mostly from the Meccan Reach. Was this an attack against them or a coincidence? False flags too, ma'am. If things seem too obvious, it's because they are. At least that's what Sir Phillips taught me, a chirpy young voice says, and Admiral Cistern has to resist rolling his eyes at the sight of Private Stream. At this rate, Herbert's pseudonyms and false identities will be earning their own paychecks and tripling the man's income. Are you an actual child or just youthened into one? Lady Tycanped asks, after looking him up and down and being completely unable to make a judgment. Ma'am! Yes, ma'am, is the entirely accurate and unhelpful answer. Private stream, Admiral Cistern states. It's a state of mind, ma'am. You're as young or as old as you feel. You're being awfully free with information in the intelligence division. Ambassador Tal notes somewhat wryly. Ah, but here's the fun part. You don't know anything of real use from this, do you? You know that we've been using healing comas like the rest of the entire galaxy that isn't all but swimming in null or rejecting things on personal or religious grounds. You know that some are choosing to remain older, others younger, and that one is going by the name Private Stream. You know that we're watching other organizations to try and figure things out because with only so many people in our organization, we're perpetually short-staffed, which could be assumed safely at any time. And you know that we have access to the publicly available blueprints and legally acquired recordings. You know we wish to talk to the person who delivered the bomb and that we know when it went off. None of these things compromise our security and to be frank is just white noise to distract anyone trying to pry our secrets out. Aha, so you admit you have secrets, Ambassador Tal teases. Of course I have secrets, I have secrets, you have secrets. Your mother, God rest her soul, has secrets. Everyone has secrets. It's just a question whether those secrets are at all useful to anyone that things get interesting. Excuse me, sir. While this is an excellent lesson, we do have a great deal of data to sort through and the less distraction we have for our more junior members, the easier this will be on all of us. Sir Philip notes and Admiral Cistern nods before gently guiding out Lady Tycanped, who's still sorting through the data on the pad. So that's what we know. Hopefully it's enough to help get things rolling. Admiral Cistern notes as he continues to guide Lady Tycanped through the ship and Ambassador Tal is just content to be riding piggyback. Hmm. Yes, this is a great deal of information, but it goes to and stops at Miss Secure. And there are a lot of places someone can hide on Centris, especially lower down, Ambassador Tal notes. If she literally went to ground, then there's almost no chance of finding her. Perhaps there are ways of finding all sorts of beings, but it takes a great deal of work and numerous boots on the ground to figure things out. A thinking mind moves in patterns. In fact, all minds work in patterns. Figure those out and you can track everything and anything down. It sounds like you know what you're doing. I've overseen attempts to track down insurgents and terrorists a few times. This will go in similar ways, I assume. The biggest obstacle is corrupt police officers or compromised agencies. People are not as good at hiding as they assume. And so long as you don't have some idiot standing between you and them, then it's not very hard to find someone although it can be time-consuming. So it's just a matter of time until we have the information, Lady Tycanped asks. Yes, but it could be a lot of time. There are so many places to hide and ways to hide that we're only going to get her when she makes a mistake, but she will make a mistake. They always do, 